Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about one function which is available in the A language through which we can, while writing the code only, can get an idea about that what the type of client the user is using and based on that, we can take certain decisions or I could say an actions in our code. Right. So as we know that uh, Business Central uh, is not only limited to the web only uh, like this is the web client right now, which you can see in my screen, but we can run the Business Central on phone also on tablet also even on Microsoft Teams as well. Right. So there are various types of uh, clients available in which user can uh, run the Business Central and use the processes of the uh, Business Central. Right. So first of all, uh, for example, this is the web client I have opened up. Now, let me copy this link and let me open the tablet view of this web client. Okay. So to open the tablet view, what we have to do is that we have to type the same URL, which uh, we type in the to run the web client. But after that, we have to add one keyword called tablet and then it will open the business central in a tablet view, right? As you can see that this is a tablet view in case uh, if you are, uh, if you hold any tablet and download the business center app, then it will open uh, in that view, right? As you can see, it is very much different uh, from the, this web client view, right? And this this is how you can test your applications as well uh, like how a user will have a seamless experience with your application in different views right so uh, meanwhile let me show you uh, from the phone angle as well like how it will view and if you type the phone so you just have to add the phone keyword after the url and it will open the phone layout for you in the business center Right, so this is the phone layout. As you can see, I can open the customer. So this is the phone view. I can go back plus to create new customer and so on. So you can see that three uh, different views we are currently seeing on the for the business center in the web browser only. Okay, and in case you want to use the business central in the Teams, then also you can do so. Like for example, you can click on Teams and on the teams we have to uh, install the business central app and then uh, we can start accessing the business central right from the teams itself right now the point is that how uh, like uh, in through the code perspective what type of functions are available in which I can differentiate between my different uh, clients and run my code accordingly. So to do that or to check that, let me uh, go to the VS code and this is our extension and let's start uh, writing the code itself directly. So first of all, let me create a variable because there are two ways through which we can use this function. So there is a standard code unit from the system application called client type management, right? So like in case uh, if you want to just directly want to know about basically that what uh, type of client currently is user is using. So what we can do is that I can remove this message text and for example, I can type client type management dot get current client type. So basically this uh, is the function sole function which is available in this code unit and it gives us gets the current type of the client being used by the caller example phone web tablet etc. Right. So it does not take any parameter it just simply return the value for me okay so if i uh, if i publish this ex extension and then i run my customer page 
then it directly give me that what type of uh, client I am using right so this is one of the way second way is that let's uh, write down current client type right so this is also a standard function right away which I can directly use and it will also give me the same result which this code unit function will give me right so we will see the output when I publish this so based on if you uh, like do not want to create a separate variable for it because there is no need to you can directly use this function and I will show you the output will same okay now uh, the point is that because uh, sometimes uh, we uh, uh, we in in the company we give the password we, we we create the users for the external accountants as well or for certain uh, marketing users or any type of user who whom we don't want to give the full access but uh, also uh, whatever access they have we don't want that they can uh, or we want to limit their access right or any scenario can come so on those scenarios where you want to take the decisions based on that what type of client user is using we can make the use of these functions and uh, by adding the if condition we can allow or disallow them accordingly so for example let's say uh, if the current client type is equals to current client type dot dot and then you can see the different types of values right which have the soap, tablet, teams, web, windows, API, background. So, so many values available based on uh, whatever uh, way, the way of uh, you, you are using the business central. So, you can add the if condition accordingly and then you can add the errors. You can add uh, your further code which you want to write accordingly. So, let me uh, try to do that. For example, uh, if the current client type is phone then inform me that uh, okay let me give the error just to you cannot run this on okay or like let's copy this if the current client type is not phone but web then it's a web client let's say okay let me write down a message itself not an error sorry sorry i think i have to give the space like this okay message it's a web client okay and then if I copy and paste again and this time let me say it's a tablet then also message it's a tablet client. right format a document okay so this is the code which we have written and based on different type of client uh, my user will use uh, my extension will greet them accordingly right so let's what we can do is build this and publish this okay so meanwhile it will get published I 
I will see if we can I can show you uh, like in the teams itself for example uh, here so for example in case you want to install the business central then uh, you can go to the app section and type business central and this is how you can uh, select it and right now I've already installed so that's why open button is coming up for me otherwise add button will show and then you can add on it and it will ask for the credentials you will pass your credentials and then uh, accordingly this application you can add to your particular teams uh, channel which you have or to a particular chat through that you can start using it right so set up a tab and now it is signing up for me so the pop-up might pop okay preferences allow Hmm. okay there is some problem going on I think uh, because you can see multiple times it is uh, logging on and then closing itself I'm not very much sure otherwise uh, see it tries to sign in and again there is some problem with the sign in on the teams I'm not very much sure but the thing is if uh, you manage to sign in successfully then uh, you will get to see your uh, your business central view or I could say a client itself right so right now there is some problem going on let me close this okay okay it's it's a non never ending session okay so if I close this one right so you can see that right now on I'm I'm getting the first message as web because this is the web client and if I click OK and then the second message is also same as web so that's what I was telling you that both the functions will give you the same results whether uh, get current client type of the client type management code unit or you can directly run this current client type so both are giving me the same results now click OK and see third message it's a web client and it is running based on the condition which I have added that only and only if the current client type is web then only it gives me this message right so let's see uh, the these functions how it will behave uh, how they will they all behave during uh, the tablet view and the phone view right so let's copy this URL and paste this let me type tablet here and in the second tab let me type phone okay it opens the tablet view now if I click on customers so you can see that I'm getting the result as tablet which is different uh, from when we saw it in the web client right so first is tablet second is tablet then it's a tablet client right so I'm using the business central on the tablet itself I think I have typed the wrong URL let me see again open the phone client I just need to type phone and now it will open the business central in the phone uh, phone screen view phone layout right so this is the way now if I click on customers and you can see that I'm getting the message phone so basically this is running the phone client user is using the business central in a phone client second message is also phone and now you can see I'm getting an error you cannot run this on phone page customer has to close right so this is what we have written that if your user is trying to use the customer list page on the phone client then uh, they will get an error you cannot run this on phone okay so that's the way that's how 
we can make the use of these functions and write our code accordingly to accommodate the certain scenarios where we don't want user uh, to use our functionalities on certain client itself so this is very uh, these functions are very good from the uh, test scenarios perspective if you are writing ATDDs uh, for your uh, for your applications accordingly as well okay so with that note uh, I think uh, uh, I'm done with today's video if you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video